Ooh, check that out. Whoa. Look at that. iPhone, $100 bill. Ooh, that's jewelry, isn't it? Ooh, that's a jewelry box. Pages and pages of Pokemon. I just uncovered a gun. Look at this. We just bought this absolutely packed five by 12 storage unit for only $150, which is crazy cheap right now. Let's get in there and see what we got. Let's start by getting some junk out the way. Like, eh, that might still be usable. So we'll set that aside. I wouldn't consider that junk. That's a couple bucks. But like this thing right here, man, you can't even sell these during Christmas time. Yet alone in, what is March? I was to say, what month is it? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> you can't sell them in March. Get out of here, bug. I think this is what got rid of a lot of people, the bed. Usually it's rid of me too, but I wanted something. And I had nine storage units cancel on me this week. Nine. So I had to do something. I was going crazy. Christmas balls. What's this thing here? Cherish dream live. Isn't that sweet? So sweet. Yeah. That. What about this one? Home. What does that say in the middle? Family home. Love family home. I thought to say fancy. What's that? A uh, New York like decorative plate. And this is a few angels, like a little snow globe. And the rest of it looks like a little bit of Christmas decorations. Let's just go ahead and pull the next one out because usually the front of the unit is the junky part of the unit and it gets better as you go back. So kind of want to get the front out of the way. Let's see what's in here. Get on a truck. Ooh, I see a big binder. Those cards? I guess we'll see in a second. So this is a lot of oops, personal papers right here and personal pictures. Not too interested in that. What is this? Uh, it's got a, look at that. It's got a regular picture in it. Damn, I don't want to show you, but on the back, it's like, it looks like it's digital. So this is really confusing to me. What do you think that is? <laughs> Maybe they just put the picture in place of the screen. Maybe. All right, is this a personal picture? Yes. Or maybe it plays music. Maybe it does. Maybe it lights up or something. This is what I was curious in, because a lot of people, when I was in elementary school, used to keep Pokemon cards and such, Yu-Gi-Oh cards in these. So let's see what it is. It is Rolling Stone magazines. A whole bunch of Rolling Stone magazines. You see this? Oop, don't want you to see that one, but man. All right, that could be worth a little something. I know people collect those, so we'll set that aside. What else do we got in this bag here? Empty, uh, single shoe. One more, and there's gotta be more in here. Are those military, what is that? Little army truck. I'm looking for military, because right like a mile and a half down that way is a big old like military training ground. We saw like tanks and stuff out there, it was pretty cool. So there's that. That looks like part of an old jewelry box. Let's see, anything else in here besides old sh <gasps> We got one from the year 2017. So kind of newer, but one Pokemon card. Where there's one, there's more. See, where there's one, there's more. 2017, but they're bent up. But at least we know already they collect them. So if they have good ones, maybe they'll be in a binder or something like that. And the rest of what I'm seeing in here is unfortunately a lot of garbage and old sh used shoes. Let's bring out the next box here. This one just says storage on it. I seen another box over there that says American Girl Dolls. Aren't those the expensive ones? I don't I think. Sure. I think somebody told me they're expensive. Uh, well, that's a frame with nothing in it. This says nativity scene in it. Is that actually what it is? It looks like gold bars, man. I say gold bars. Oh no, that's what they are. It's an old school nativity scene. Or that's Santa. Santa's not part of the nativity scene as far as I know. <laughs> And there's another Santa. So maybe it, these it's... are the Santas with the different dates. We found these before, didn't we? Whoa! Yeah. But I remember, that? I remember there being like countries on it. Yeah, I do too. I remember that exactly. That. So these are here. Christmas balls. Nothing important. What is this thing? This might be a nativity scene. Yeah, I think that is your nativity scene. Backwards. This way. There's that. Then the rest. Let's see what's in the box. Um, well, just that one little white thing. That's strange. What is this? A filter. I was about to say, some kind of filter. Uh, what's this doll, though? Uh, well, well, he's been in better shape before, that's for sure. Look at his body. Pop <laughs> back in there. Come on. Uh, what's his face? Anyone recognize him? <laughs> no. He's in pretty bad shape. He just looks like an Indian. Okay. He needs some restoration, that's for sure. 
bag here. Ooh, what's all this like dust? I think that's just dust from the, what you call it, boxes being ripped up and stuff. Here is where the nativity scene should go, but I don't see the pieces anywhere as of now. But let's see what else is in the box. Papers, books, a random hair dryer out of nowhere. That's so random. Here's a photo album. There's a dime down here. Is that a silver dime? It looks really old. It's from 1964. Silver! Yeah, I'll take that. Put that in my pocket. And a couple of older pictures is all else I see in here. This one looks like kitchen stuff because it's kind of open already and I can see it. But we'll make sure because they've had some random stuff in their boxes so far. Let's see what's wrapped up. Maybe this is something nice or it's just something glass. Ooh, that's Pyrex. Check that out. I know it's the color ones that are more, you know, sought after, but it's still Pyrex. It's still Pyrex at the end of the day. What about this one here? Is that part of it? Sure is. Pyrex on the bottom. So that's cool. Let's see. The rest of it mostly looks like the, you know, cheap plastic stuff. Nothing too expensive. I mean, I like the cheap plastic stuff. That's what we use at home because I don't like the clinking. I don't want to have to worry about it breaking. It's just way easier to use it. Uh, this is nothing other than the Pyrex. I think the rest of it is basically yard sale stuff. See the box right here? This is what I was talking about. I think that's supposed to say American. I think it's just spelled a little wrong. I'm American. I'm American. All right. We'll try to get to that. I threw a big bag of clothes out because I don't really want clothes. This right here looks like a giant lantern. Mi minus the candle or the light or whatever goes inside of it. Uh, let's see what's in this box. Sure. Let's see. Oh, come here, you. All right, let's see what's in there. We got this thingy. Get out, what is it? Ah, it looks like a picture frame. And it's a picture frame, most definitely. The rest of it's empty. Oh, look at these. They're like giant little Christmas villages. Ain't that cool looking. It says nothing on the bottom, but it's supposed to take battery, so I'm guessing it either lights up or plays music, or both. But there's two of them in here, and they look to be exactly the same thing. So the box on top of it was literally filled with nothing but personal pictures, so we just went ahead and took that over there. Let's get out the American Girl doll box and see if that's actually what it is. Doesn't sound like it, it sounds like kitchen. I don't want kitchen, I want American Girl dolls. And let's see. Rip the tape off. It looks like it's unfortunately. Oh uh, yeah. This is kitchen. Hey. These are dog wipes, never mind. Oh, they're big hand wipes. This stuff right here, again, it's yard sale stuff. Nothing in there, you know, standing out is worth anything. Just yard sale stuff. What big box do you think? Floor big box or tote big box? Tote big box. Tote big box? Alright, let's get this one. Please don't fall apart. <laughs> I beg of you. Is it already falling apart? I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, it's heavy. No, you're it, good. It's Not really kinda. heavy. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I can get this up here. Sounds like more kitchen to me. Let's see. Ooh, I see some colored bowls. Those might be the Pyrex, I'm hoping. Cause look, it's wrapped in that same green. This one's yellow though. Let's take a, oh no, it's green, Never mind. But it is Pyrex, look at that. It's even the color with the patterns. That's what everyone always told me. The color ones people want, the color with the patterns people really want. So that's a good thing to see. So we look in here, see some bathroom rugs. This pans, drain board, plates. Uh, is this one Pyrex too? No, this one's not. But I'm seeing a lot of just basic kitchen stuff. I can see all the way down. It's like probably six or seven straight frying pans. So again, this is not big money, but this is one dollar yard chill stuff all day. Now let's see what's in the lower box here. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the tape at? There it is. Oh, not more Christmas. Christmas stuff, I mean, again, in Virginia, we sell it every yard sale we have. It doesn't sell for much. It's, again, dollar here, dollar there. Man! This is like legitimately eight levels of Christmas balls. Like probably two to 300 Christmas balls in there. So again, yard sale. All right, I got a little box here. It looks like a knife set. And if it is, it's a really cool looking knife set. Is that what that is? Yeah, it is. 
get out of the box. Check that out. Nice. Oh, the blades are like gold. They're kind of dirty, but you know, dishwasher. That's pretty cool knife set. What else is in this little box? Something wrapped up in this towel. A hugs and kisses mug. Um, let's see. An old, like, it's got Plato and Socrates, so like an old philosopher thing. Look at the bottom, it looks really old. Mm -hmm. If anyone recognizes any of that, let me know, because I really don't. <laughs> There's that. What's in the little green bag? Another vase. So this is all glassware, it looks like. All glassware besides this poor husky screwdriver that I'm guessing a dog got a hold of. Now's when it's gonna start to get a little bit tricky because this stuff, I don't know how it's stacked. I think this one's okay. Let's see. Oh, it's okay, but it's, ooh. I don't know if it's okay. Am I gonna get smashed? Possibly. Um, but I don't have any other options, so. No, you're good. Oh, this one's way heavier than it looks. Ooh, what is this? This is the heaviest box. I pulled out of the unit, yeah, and it's like half the size of some of those big ones. Let's see what's inside this guy right here. Is it more kitchen stuff? Is it normal to have this much kitchen stuff? I feel like we have like three frying pans and like five plates and that's it. Every time I find so much in a unit, I'm like, this is crazy. Oh, it's cast iron. That's why it's so heavy. What's this? Oh, he feels like he actually has something in there. I wonder what. Yeah, there's like little burgers. <laughs> Different colored burgers. Look at that. A pig. That's cool, actually. So there's a lamp. I see cast iron right here. I don't want to touch it because it's really rough. I already did. Well, my hands are going to be dirty. It's all good. Oh, is that real? Is that legit old Coca-Cola advertising? The problem is they remade so many of these and they made them to look old. It's so hard to tell, but given the rust and stuff, I kind of want to say this is actually that old, but if you have any idea, let us know in the comments. Definitely cool. Here's some cast iron. Ooh. Man, these things are crazy heavy. That's where all the weight's coming from, right there. Another whole knife set. Literally, we just found the other one. There's another whole knife set right there. What's this? Uh, what's that green in there? No clue. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit shady, just a little bit. Uh, there's windy things. Do you smell syrup? Do you smell syrup? I do. I smell it from somewhere. That's the last thing in here. Whatever's wrapped up in here. Let's see what that is. It's like a little clay pot somebody made at school. And it looks like an old either salt or pepper shaker. Stuff started collapsing a little bit. Not going to lie, it's kind of scared the crap out of me. So now I got to get this box out of here and hope we don't get smashed. So I think I see a phone bag in there, guys. Leave this video a thumbs up, please. This has been a kind of a crappy week for us, so you know, help me get to my mood. Leave us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, because I might get smashed. Uh, no. What am I supposed to do? You have to grab it. <laughs> I have to do this again? Again? Yep. Oh. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Okay. At least it wasn't too destructive in there. Let's see what we got in here. I saw this T-Mobile bag. That's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to get it. Ooh, check that out. Whoa. You trolled. Look at that. Look at that. It's ripped, but yeah, it's definitely fake. It, oh, I was about to say, is it real still? <laughs> no, it's fake. Let's find the other half and tape it together. Uh, this is an iPhone 11 and a T-Mobile something. They don't feel like they're in there, but let's see. Uh, come on. No. That one's empty. Uh, what's on the bottom? Get out. I think this is the same phone we found in the last unit. Is it? The video game unit. iPhone. Oh, what is that? This is somebody's cash app. What the heck? Oh, this is the, no, this is their login. Okay. I was gonna say, it's their password. They just happen to have a dollar sign in their um, password. But hey, look at that. iPhone, $100 bill, both disappointing. Let's see what else is in the box right here. Oh, is that an action figure? Hey, look. A Fortnite action figure. Uh, what else is in here? Ugh, that's not coming out. Oh, a book bag with Fortnite again, which by the way is a video game that a lot of kids were into. Not so much anymore. It's kind of faded out, kind of played its course. This, I can't get nothing to move. What's this? Ooh, that's jewelry, isn't it? Let's set that here. Let's see if anything here is marked gold. So far, looking at the stuff I've been finding, 
I'm gonna guess not, but you never know. I don't see anything right here, and that's obviously not, so we'll put that back in there. But we'll do a battery check at home, that's for sure. Um, what else is in here? What's this? Ooh, what is that? Ooh, that's a jewelry box. Nice. That's, yeah, I hear a little rattle in there. <laughs> One earring back, or is that the actual earring? No, that's a little stud earring, a little tiny one, maybe six dollars in gold, <laughs> if it was gold. Uh, what else is in here? This is the question. Dirty pants. Uh, what's in this? A hammer with the kid clothes. That's that's strange. Not gonna lie, very strange. But this looks like it's all kids' clothes. A couple of new pairs of socks in there. But overall, kids' clothes. Anything else interesting? A VR set. Check that out. A nice VR set. It's not an Oculus, it's a sharper image, so they're not too, too expensive, but it's still a cool VR set. What else is in here? An elephant. Uh, ooh, look, an old baseball glove. A couple baseball gloves actually down here. What? You let me know. Because you would know more than I would. Are these brands <laughs> <Yeah>. good? <laughs> well, I mean, Rawlings is... I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're both decent brands. All right, two Rawlings gloves, we'll take them. What else do we have going on down here? A third one. Look, uh, that's McGregor. Never heard of that one. McGregor, is that McGregor? It looks like it says Matt Gregor. So, Conor McGregor's got a glove, Roblox. Uh, what else is down here? Oh look, is that Amethyst? I think I got a little piece of Amethyst right here. And you know, my stupid prankster loving self knows exactly what this is. Do you know what this is? I don't. This, you twist it like this. And then you shake somebody's hand. Shake my uh -huh. hand and it buzzes you. Ah. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> so exciting, right? All right. <laughs> that, what is this thing right here? This just has a lot of weight. This is a TV, TV mount? Yeah, TV wall mount. And other than that, we got this big old stuffed animal here. But that was the most interesting box so far to me. At least I got amethyst. All right, let's drag this shelf out of here. Let's at least turn it around. How's the lighting right here? Okay. All right, what's in there? Ooh, I see what I like. Pokemon cards, more Pokemon cards. This one's from 2018, so I see quite a few Pokemon cards in here. Is that a camera too? <laughs> we got a camera here, a Sony Cybershot, 12.1 megapixel camera. There's money in there. There's Pokemon cards in there. There's a camera in there. Anything else in there? You see all the chains down there too? Yeah, in the corner. Yeah. Quite a bit of change in here, and quite a bit of Pokemon cards too. Pokemon cards are basically the equivalent of cash anyway, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything in the second drawer. Um, a gun. Yes. Think it fires? Can I fire it right at you? No. Let's fire right here. There's a ball on the side. How do you cut off the safety? Oh, there it is. Bang. No, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know how to work it. I'm just going to throw it in there. More Pokemon cards down here as well. I love finding them. An old rotted McDonald's french fry too. You see that? Where? Look. Mmm. Yummy. Delicious. Uh, what's this? Guaranteed in every car there's at least one. Oh yeah, it's always there. Everyone's car's got one. A little doll shoe maybe. Yeah, a couple little, what's that? What's this thingy? Just nothing. Okay, that's strange. Anything else in that? Nothing else in there, but you know, some Pokemon cards, I'll get the rest out and a camera, not bad. So I went to lift this up and I quickly realized there's a secret compartment in here. Look at this. This slides open and look what's just chilling in there. A freaking taser pepper spray nice. combo and a fire <laughs> stick. And I'm assuming that's what that is. There it is, the Amazon fire stick and a taser just chilling in the top. This might go with the power sure fire sticks, I don't know. Does this lift up? It does, but just oh, okay. wood under there. But hey, this is why you check every little crevice. I just uncovered a gun. Look at this. It might be a BB gun, but you know what? It's still a gun. You think it fires? Probably. No. There it goes. Let's see. 
No. It fires, but no BB. Yeah, I was gonna say, you usually hear the BBs rattling if you see it in there, but check that out. It's a 760 Pump Master. It takes um, 0.177 cal BBs on there. Not bad. You want me to show you why you check every little thing? This was the box that BB gun was in. Looks like all pillows right, but you know, I had to flip through it. Oh, I come across a binder. What do you think happens to be in that binder? We predicted at the beginning. Bang, look at that. Pages and pages a Pokemon card, even some holographic ones back there. Unfortunately, they don't seem to be the old ones. They're 2017 and 2018 era, but we called it. And we're only like halfway through that unit. So, you know, there could be some 90s ones in the back. Fingers crossed. I just moved the mattresses and I found two more guns. But they're Nerf guns, unfortunately. But, you know, they're still guns. I think they're high capacity magazines, too. I think they're probably still illegal in California, even though they are Nerf. Let's see what's in this box here now. So we've got a lot more mattresses and junk mm. out of here. By the way, look behind me. We got a literal like mountain of boxes here. I'm trying to see what that electronic is. Can you see what that white box is at all? Can you zoom white in on box? it? Yeah, some type of electronic, but I can't tell what it is. Uh, it's definitely I can't something. Tell. A speaker right. maybe? That would be cool. We'll figure it out eventually. But let's see what's in here. Oh boy, just what I was looking for. Yay. Yay. Uh, nothing really in here. Stupid tape, get off. Let's see. What's in this right here? Talking stuff and some license plates. Alligator yeah. Adventure. Alligator Adventure, Wildlife, the Wetlands, and Myrtle yeah. Beach. Okay. I feel like. Yeah. All right. Off tape. This bag here. Ooh, this is heavy. I thought this was going to be an empty bag. I was about to move it. But no, it's definitely full of something. What? I don't know. It's in this section. No, what are these pictures. pictures? Oh, boo. What about this section here? Is it all pictures? What is that? Pictures. Is it really? Yep, just a crap ton of pictures. All right. Charcoal. Yay. A brand new smoke alarm. Ooh, I see a black case. Is that a gun case? No, what is a Blue Ridge? I don't know. Let's see. Well, it once upon a time was a wrench and tool set. All right, that looks like a hamster ball, another license plate, and some more just meh. I'm just gonna call it meh. Charcoal is meh. What about this bag here? What do you think it is? Uh, hopefully not more pictures. It doesn't feel like pictures, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's see. What the heck is this? Some type of medication. Uh, oh, albuterol. It goes in the breathing machine. Oh, okay. I remember what it was. That. And this is the charcoal. What do you think under the charcoal? What is this? Oh, your favorite! Yeah, Bound to happen in every single storage unit. I hope that old bus is not messing up our audio too bad, but I'm impatient. I have to know it's in the white box, so let's get it down. It's kind of bothering me. Come on. Come to me. Come to me. Aww. You see what it actually is? A blow up mattress, but that's definitely not what's in there. It says moving. That's it. Very descriptive. Moving. Let's see. Oh, that's a jewelry box, isn't it? Look in here. Ah, a picture. Uh, how do I get to the jewelry box? Is that all its drawers? Oh, what a troll. What a troll. There's one little drawer in here. That's where the gold watch is. Oh, something's actually in there. Is it a wire? You got a little wire. And I don't know what that is, but that's electrical. Definitely not jewelry. That's not what I was expecting. Behind this box is something I guarantee you've never seen in a storage unit. A freaking rocket launcher. Look at it. Nice. You want me to play? I will blow this whole facility sky high. Do it. <laughs> what if it just fired, actually? <laughs> a lot of Nerf weapons in here, but they're all missing, like, the magazines and the ammo, so they're kind of useless. Let's cut open this box right here and see what's in here. Hopefully something interesting because we sure have not found a lot of high-end items initiated so far, but you know what? We still have a lot back here. By the way, look what I uncovered by moving this box. You see that red thing? I'm guessing fishing, but you know, maybe gun range because I'm just me being hopeful. Let's see. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? Yeah. Is this close all the way down? Oh boy. Oh boy, no. There's this. Hey, a Tetris arcade machine. A little miniature arcade. There's something else down here, too. What is this right here? Ugh. 
Come out, come out. What is that, a karaoke machine? Looks like a karaoke machine to me. Yeah. Anything else in this box here? Is it all? The rest of it, unfortunately, is close all the way down. Follow us on Instagram for a chance to win a cash prize this week, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss part two. Peace out.